What's the only venomous animal on the planet that doesn't make its own venom? Here's a clue. It has three hearts pumping blue blood. It digests its food through its brain, has a bird-like beak, deadly saliva, weighs only 25 grams, is jet powered, is a night dweller, can change colour, uses its body as a cape, has no bones, a tongue like drill, is a contortionist, oh, and it has eight arms. So meet the blue ringed octopus. It's a little tiny octopus, probably about as big as my thumb, with a fearsome reputation. It's found right throughout the tropics and the temperate regions of the world in places just like this. And it's one of the most venomous animals on the planet. As the name suggests, these little octopus have vivid blue rings that they flash for a couple of reasons. One, when things are attacking them to say, I'm toxic, leave me alone, or when they're chasing their prey. But what makes them so toxic? Well, they're cool in that they don't make their own venom. They use other organisms, bacteria they find out here, and they hide them in their salivary glands. Now, these toxins that are produced, the things called TTX or tetrodotoxins, are secreted by the bacteria. So when a blue ring, for example, chases a crab, it jumps on it and it uses its bird-like beak to chew a hole in the exoskeleton and then spits saliva into it. As its saliva goes in, the toxin goes with it and it attacks the nerves and it basically stops a nerve impulse from travelling down your nerve. So what that means is you become paralysed. Crabs, for example, that they're feeding on, or us if we're bitten, we go through this paralysis as well. Seriously cool toxin. Only a handful of people have ever died from the bite of this little octopus, but if you're unlucky enough to get bitten, what actually happens? Well, your voluntary muscle system shuts down you can't breathe and you become paralysed and you collapse on the ground. Now the cool thing about this toxin is you can actually produce real zombies with it. That's another story and that's the nature of science.